Welcome to Monaco for the 2018 World Rugby Awards, where tonight we pay tribute to the best performers and the biggest influencers in the great game of rugby union. The boots and jerseys are off, the bow ties and evening gowns are on as the great and the good of the games gather to celebrate rugby excellence in 2018. Brett, a fantastic night we've got coming up. It is the 17th year of these World Rugby Awards. Just how important have they become in the calendar? Yeah, they've become hugely important. They're great for the players. Obviously, they enjoy this night. We try to invite as many of the players as long as we can. And there are many of them here tonight, as you can see, over your shoulder and so on. So, yeah, it's really special. You've got to recompense the, the, the high achievers, the high performers, and, and the context of Monaco for this is, is perfect for it. Johnny, what would it mean to you to win it, given the fantastic year you've had? Yeah, I suppose it would uh, top off the year uh, quite a lot. I think it's uh, been talked quite a lot of at home and uh, not something at the start of the year you would have set out to, to win, but um, it's very nice to be recognised um, by the people that you know vote for you in the first place and to, to get into the shortlist even is, a, is an honour for me. Ben, this is your third year. What would it mean to you to win a hat-trick of players of the year? Oh look it'd be fantastic but um, yeah look I'm in a position because of my team uh, you know I get all the glory being a fly half so <laughs> I've got to thank my teammates and the coach for even being in this position so yeah it's a privilege to be back here in Monaco. Just tell me what's the secret of your team I mean it's been so successful for a long time for you what do you think is the secret? Oh, no secret, uh, we're just hard workers and we've got an amazing sisterhood that helps us at trainings and we wake up every morning looking forward to seeing each other and training with each other and crying and bleeding and whatnot with each other so um, no, we're really happy to um, be with each other and that helps when it comes to playing on the field. You know, there's been a number of coaches that have done superb things this year. You, you know, you only need to look at what the All Blacks have achieved. You know, it's good for rugby. We're, um, you know, next year's World Cup should be fantastic. And well, I've got a guy who knows about winning Rugby World Cups. He played 139 caps for his uh, country. And now rugby, uh, World Rugby uh, panelists today, George Gregan. Thanks for uh, joining us. Now, there must have been some heated debates, I'd say, picking the winners tonight. There was, there was a lot of to and fro, and, uh, and we actually had, and I was flying in transit, where they just had a last bit of debriefing before we put our final vote in to make sure that uh, everyone was on the same page in terms of the voting process, and then put it out there. Because um, there's some great contestants, for both the men's and the women's 15th player of the year, and uh, it's going to be exciting. I don't want to give too much away, because I don't know the result either. 